influence of nature, technical issues, asteroid, and aliens. Welcome back. Today we are going to take a look at the evolution of the disaster film genre. Disaster movies are as old as the Great Pyramid of Giza, and many have been produced since early cinema. In 1933, a film called Deluge was the first to strengthen the disaster movies as their own genre. It's about the earthquake and tidal wave that wipes out New York City. It's good for 1933. After three years, a movie called San Francisco came to the silver screen, which was the set of the real-life quake. From 1906 the scenes of this film are pretty powerful. There is an honorable mention, a movie called The Wizard of Oz, which is not a disaster movie, but has a twister scene which is pretty good, without the help of CGI. But in 1970s, the genre evolved, and disaster films became a box office craze, and gained lots of attention, huge budget, good use of VFX, and with a great casting. 1970s, which was also called as golden age for disaster movies showed small individual catastrophes like, 1972's, The Poseidon Adventure and 1974's, The Towering Inferno, which was pretty intense. In the same year, where a new technique was introduced to make you feel, that is, sense around. This was none other than, the film Earthquake with its success, it was sure, that all competing studios will give audiences, many disaster films in near future. In 1978, a movie Avalanche was released, where a plane crash on a mountain caused it. Public interest faded, after the movie, Swarm. Where the studios were convinced, that the real disaster, were the financial bombs being financed. After a long break from the genre, the 90s saw disaster movie re-emerge this time due to the arrival of CGI, which largely replaced practical effects. 1996's, Independence Day shook audiences with its, unparalleled, on-screen effects the film illustrated, a possible alien attack on mankind and it, thrilled the audience. And in the same year, a movie named Twister was also released, which was a great hit. With this victory on the box office, Jump started on all new studio race to produce the greatest on-screen disasters. The following summers, were filled with double doses of similar disaster by competing studios in 1997, 20th Century Fox released, Volcano, while, Universal Pictures, fought back with, Dante's Peak, as they each sought to capitalize, on the public rekindled love of large-scale special effects driven disaster. In the same year a shipwreck scene, a real story disaster film, which is the Titanic came to the silver screen. summers, the audience were again, given two pieces of the same cake, when Armageddon, and, Deep Impact, arrived at the silver screen. Both film boasted with, great Hollywood star cast, and budget bigger than, the asteroid shown on the screen. Which was followed by, 1999's, a biblical story The Noah's Ark, which was a great success. In 2003, the audience, got to see a group of scientists attempt to save the, Earth, while, tremors, shook the globe in the core. While 2004's, The Day After Tomorrow, capitalized on our fears, a global warming. In 2006's, Poseidon remake rely purely on CGI to depict the tsunami blasting the ship. It actually held a Guinness record for the most detailed CG model ever used in a film with over 1,80,000 individual objects depicted on the ship. In 2007, the movie Flood showed the colossal tidal surge traveling down the England's east coast when London floods. 
In 2009, the audience were presented with the film, Knowing, which exploited the idea that disasters have been predicted and may be avoided. The notion once again appeared in the Roland Emmerich film 2012. The film shows the end of the world according to the ancient Mayan calendar with several extreme disasters working simultaneously to end the world. The film was labeled as the ultimate disaster movie. In 2009, the movie called Tidal Wave shows that the authorities ignored a scientist warning of impending tsunami and phases when the prediction comes true. In 2012, the modern day, miniature work and a true story was shown in the movie called The Impossible. In 2013, the movie This Is The End showed an apocalypse differently. In the same year, a space disaster appeared in the name of Gravity, where two astronauts tried to survive the accident. In 2014, Hollywood released a movie, based on the eruption, that buried the city of Pompeii and made it as a legend. In the same year, a found footage disaster movie, Into the Storm, which first time introduced the concept Fire Nado. In 2015, a movie, San Andreas showing mass devastation of the city of Los Angeles, and the beautiful and purely digital shots like the Golden Gate Bridge Plaps was impressive in their own way. In 2016, a true story, a tsunami, which came 86 years ago, in Norway was shown in the movie, The Wave, causing so many faculties during the incident in reality. Last, but not the least, when a network of satellites is designed to control the global climate, due to some issues, a global storm clock activates, it has awesome effects that's what all that matters, it is none other than Geostorm. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please consider subscribing to our channel. And let us know which is your favorite disaster movie.